Good morning, everybody. We are at a place called Rockola on Brookville Road, a little hole in the wall. We could make it sound even worse. <laughs> and Greg uh, Cardoza is with us. Mm -hmm. And for those who are just joining us, I seem to say that a lot, there are two <laughs> drinks. What are they, sir? They are Chocola, they are the Chocola. best chocolate drink on the planet. And this is the only place on the planet. Yes, we manufacture here, we make it here, correct. When I was here earlier, uh, just recently, we uh, took a look, and as I was leaving, I saw your yearbook. Mm -hmm. Let's look at some of the pictures in that yearbook, and let's see <laughs> if we can point you out. I think you won't have any problems. You with that won't one. have yeah. any problems. <laughs> no, not so at all. So you were the only um, matriculating student <laughs> in um, um, in Beach Grove. That's correct. For many years. Yes, from black uh, student. fifth grade to I graduated. Yeah. Twelfth grade. And overall, overall, teachers were. Cool. The teachers were phenomenal. They all treated me great. I'm friends with most of the half of the teachers that I grew up with uh, right. are friends with me on Facebook. So, But you still felt anywhere you went. Mainly businesses, yeah. I yeah. just felt a little easy in a lot of the different places, yes. And, and what's so incredible about this story, Greg, is we're talking about 1981. 81. And well, between 73 and 81, correct. 73 and 81, wow. You had one experience at a McDonald's. Yeah, I, I told you, I didn't date much in high school because I didn't want to deal with the, the white-black issue, but I did start dating like two months before I graduated, the girl I'm still friends with. Yeah. And we were at the McDonald's right, side of, uh, right outside of Beach Grove at Sherman and um, Raymond. And in there, and this guy just, when he saw me walking with her, he just... Oh, so you were with I girl. was with her. Oh, oh, and oh, he, oh. Uh, just, you could just tell. I could just tell something was coming. And I stared back at him, and he went to his his belt buckle and pulled out a knife and I was a little concerned there but he was smaller than me but but it was still alarming mm -hmm. I think what he didn't realize is that at that particular McDonald's was close to some black uh, projects oh. that was close and he just happened to look around and realize he was grossly outnumbered and fortunately this older gentleman black guy stood up and said you have a problem here and he turned around and looked and he finally left and wow. walked out but yeah, that's probably the closest I've come to any type of physical. Yeah. How much have things changed? There's a lot of debate now. I don't want to make this end this on a political <laughs> note. But well. there's a lot of people concerned that whatever progress was made may be slowing down. And your feeling is? Well, I, I think progress is definitely made. From then to now, yes. I mean, Beach Grove was probably 20% black now. Uh -huh. uh, I went to the Beach Grove Fall Festival this summer, and it was really nice to see that I wasn't the only one, and when, you know, minorities, Hispanics are well represented, blacks are well represented, and didn't have to go through some of the issues I had to walking down Main Street, Beach Grove. This has been a treat, and this has been a treat. Yes. We were Chocola, I'll say it again for those that didn't see the other, <laughs> the uh, last show, the only place on the planet that you can, get, you can get the original Chocola. We, I'm going to say we, it's you, okay. are looking for investors, so uh, <laughs> uh, you'll, you can find me somehow and I'll get it to Greg. Okay. Thank you, sir. This was Thank a, you so this very was much. This is a pleasure. Appreciate it.